Mm. I know, very interesting concept, isn't it? Mm. Because, you know, they don't know the other is watching. And yes. it, we said it was a real, um, it's actually a real life trial, but they don't know the original trial. All the names have been changed, but it is actually a true life crime. I was gutted, Brenda, because they told us we were doing this today mm. and all our televisions went on the blink last <laughs> night. Our whole system, no TV, so I couldn't watch it. And I really wanted to, because I'd been reading about it yeah. and thought, this is fascinating. You did watch. I watched it. I watched it. I, I watched the first one. We were told to watch the first. I watched the first and the second. Um, and I found myself swaying between... I don't want to do any spoilers, but no. swaying between... Go away! Yeah. You're gonna get lo and yeah. and not. Um, and it was interesting to see the way that the two the the two sides how there was somebody in there that was like, oh no, no, I don't believe that that person. And then you, you have a conversation, and they and then they they get swayed. It was just interesting to watch how easily some people were swayed. And, and did you think watching it have? You haven't done jury service. No, um, no. Did you ever... Did you think, watching it, how you might be on a jury? Would you be easily swayed? Would you be forceful? Could you stick to your I'd, your I'd like to think I, I'd stick to my guns. I, I don't think I'm an easily swayed person. I'm not like a sheep that's, that, that follows, follows in that way. But it was just... There was, you know... If you've got emotions, personal experiences of your own, taking that into consideration when you're listening to somebody's story, then you can relate to it. Yeah. it. It might sway you in the wrong way. That's what be I'd be nervous yeah, about. Yeah, it will be fascinating, Gloria, won't it, to see whether two completely different juries presented with exactly the same case, exactly the same evidence, word for word, do actually come out with the same verdict. I think that's where the strength of this experiment will be, because also, in Britain, we're not allowed into the courtroom, unlike America. So it gives you an insight as to what it would be like to be in that courtroom as an observer. I mean, you have to remember, it is artificial in that sense, uh, but the, the, the two teams, the two sets of jurors, uh, they, of course, will be listening to the same evidence, to the same arguments, to the same debate. And I think the strength will be when you get to the end of this experiment and you see how they differ, mm. or if mm. they do differ, Why? I don't know. But I um, worry about... But I... it might be... A yeah. And somebody's life, potentially, you're dealing yes. with. That's the point. Yeah. Yes, somebody's freedom. Um, and that's my thing. Whenever I watch um, drama, you know, crime drama, courtroom dramas, which I love, I could be absolutely convinced by both the prosecution and the defence. Yeah. You know, so I listen to the prosecution sum up and they say, he's guilty or she's guilty because of A, B, C, D, and I go, absolutely, oh, absolutely, definitely, <laughs> oh, without <laughs> doubt, guilty. <laughs> then I listen to the defence. Mm. Clever, clever, clever barristers, that's their job. Yeah. And then they give the reason why I shouldn't found this person guilty. I go, oh, actually, he's got a point. <laughs> actually, mm, yes. Yeah. So I would want, you know, I, I'm not, I didn't think I'd be swayed in a jury room. You know me, I've got quite yeah. forceful opinions exactly. and I stick to yeah. them. Yeah. But I think by professional, you know, people in the law, who that's their job to convince you one way or the other. Have you ever done jury service? Um, no, I haven't, and I wouldn't like to either, because no. I think it's a big responsibility and you've yeah. got someone's life in your hands, really. Yeah. But I, mean, I did watch it last night and it was really, really interesting. It was well done as well. Um, but I definitely wouldn't like to be a jury member there. Yeah. No, I'd find it Why? really... Just because you just worry because about you, the responsibility. Be, yes, yeah, responsibility. You, you could be sending someone away, you yeah. know, like, for a long time and that stuff. So. It, does, it, it does show, I think, with any when you see jury service, you know, the law, essentially, it's not an exact science, is it? And, no. and for me... I think that's the right way to do it, is that you have 12 people of all different ages, social um, backgrounds, backgrounds yeah. creeds, colours, you know, mm. to, to then all have their opinion. Because you will have people who are bigoted, you will have people who have strong opinions one way or the other, and you need that balance. Because otherwise, what's scary, how else though, do you do it? I was it? in court once. It was to, I, I subbed this down because it was a, a, an accident where a guy came right across my car to go a different direction, and I could have been killed. In the courtroom, I sat and I watched him. He was sitting beside a policeman. And for about an hour, I thought, he's got a policeman beside him, I'm going to lose this case, he's up for dangerous driving. When it came time in the court, I, it actually was a great lesson. It was the wrong person altogether. I would have sworn on 20 Bibles, this was the man, etc., etc. So evidence yeah. can be presented in all sorts of ways yeah. and people can make all kinds of mistakes in their interpretation of it. Yeah, well, so it's... So, it's an interesting experiment. It's very... It's, I think it's fascinating to see whether the same verdict will be reached mm. by two different yeah. juries. It's called the Jury Murder Trial, uh, Channel 4. I think it continues tonight, I believe, yeah. at 9 o'clock, I'm told. Thank you very much, producer.